Okay, welcome to another lunar flight video. And in this video, we're uh, back on Mars again. And as you saw, if you saw the previous video, these Martian flights used in lunar flight are a bit more difficult be due to the increased gravity and the fact that we have an atmosphere that's, you know, causing us to slow down and we have cross winds that can potentially blow us off course. But in the previous video, we did a lost cargo mission. I quite enjoy those. So I'm going to do one of those again. So we're going to go to missions and let's start with mission number one so that's transport two is transport three and four data survey and then five and six are lost cargo so this one is east of delta so let's take a look at the map we are currently at charlie so east of delta would be like along that line so that might not be a bad choice we can just plan on getting in line with delta and then flying straight east but let's take a look at the other lost cargo. So south of Charlie, that actually might be a better choice for us because we're already at Charlie. Um, actually, I kind of do like the idea of that Delta mission, but let's go ahead and go. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with the Charlie mission because we're already here. So we'll accept that. Make sure the transponder is on. And I think we definitely need to get more fuel, so let's go to the shop. And I'm not going to worry about the, the boost, I don't think. So I don't need to worry about repair. Gyro, so I think it's... Let me buy one f fuel and one boost, just because I've never really used the boost before. Alright, so let's close that out. And let's bring up the map, and we're going to fly uh, straight south. So power up the vessel. And now that the vessel's empty, it's much easier to handle. So we're just going to rotate till we're pretty much facing south. As far as I know, the only way to know what direction you're facing is by looking at the mini-map and seeing the arrow. Um, I don't... Looking around, at least I haven't found or haven't noticed a... Uh, directional like north southeast west indicator I guess maybe that thing on the very bottom yeah this little map down here I'm not quite entirely sure how its indications are oh, I did not mean to do that roll back or pitch back up and eliminate the down velocity so that we're balanced out and yaw a bit this way okay so I think probably yeah yeah that down at the bottom seems to be our northwest indicator it's just a bit weird the way it the way it looks to me okay so I wonder if that is our lost module right there I think we should get an indication. Could also be right there, but that also looks like a boulder. I think that's just a boulder. So let's keep going forward. I am a bit off. Uh, I'm not like straight south of Charlie at the moment, so let me translate over a bit to the bit to the east. Actually, I think I see the module. I think it actually may be easier to find those on the Mars map just because there's a bit you know, you're again, you're not looking at gray on gray. Okay, let me eliminate that sideways translation, but I think that's the module right there. If so, we should be getting an indicator from the transponder pretty soon. Yeah, I keep forgetting to look in the shop. Yeah, I think that's the module because we just got our first blip. Um, I keep forgetting to look in the shop to see if there's a transponder upgrade just so that you can have 
because it you almost have to be you basically have to have already found the module before you get any indication for it yeah all right slow down slow down So now we go to the cargo and recover. And turn off the noise. Alright, this one has to be returned to Bravo. So let's select Bravo. Next, next, next. Okay, it's already selected. Alright, so power up. Definitely can tell we're carrying cargo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these Mars missions would be impossible without it, at the very least the second upgrade that you get for the engine efficiency. Because otherwise, you just, I don't even know if you get off the ground. <laughs> Alright, so there's our first indicator for fuel. I'm pretty sure we're going to need one of our fuel modules, so just put it in now. And let's pitch back, get some more altitude. Oh no, I hope I didn't mess this up. No, velocity vector shows we're going to clear the mountain. Okay. Take a look at what that looks like. Okay. Let's zero out our pitch and then correct our roll. is mostly corrected now so let's just head on over to Bravo base and drop off our lost cargo change the C cam now since we targeting the base and I cannot see a thing so it's a good thing we have instrumentation I'm putting in a bit of right translation to compensate for that crosswind that we have from the dust storm. Three hundred and seventy meters out. Okay. Probably coast in here for a little bit. Zero out some of our descent. Can't see a thing. <laughs> okay, we'll bring our velocity vector over so that it's on the landing pad now. And do what we can to bring this thing down and land. Got a bit of a break in the sandstorm there, so that's good. Help me see where I'm going. Oh, I actually, I'm on a crash course with that antenna, so let me translate over. Alright, I think we're clearing the antenna. So let's translate back. Pitch roll, y'all is all zeroed out. Okay, so just a few more meters to go, plenty of fuel. Let's 
So not the cleanest landing, but we drug the feet a little bit and I felt it kind of tip up like that and back down, but we did not do any damage. So let's go ahead and refuel our vessel, go to the cargo, unload, <clears throat> and see what kind of reward money we get for that for that mission. All right, don't save the replay. So we now have $70,000. So I feel like that's good enough with plenty of excess cash to still uh, go ahead and buy our final upgrade. And yep, we're maxed out. So the only thing now that we continue to purchase are consumable items like fuel. All right, but that's going to wrap it up for this video. We completed another Lost Cargo mission, so uh, probably do another one of these. I think what will be interesting to try on Mars will be the data survey, because I think that will also be quite difficult with the, the crosswind and everything, and perhaps the poor visibility might also make the, the data survey a little difficult, because you have to fly the vessel into that sphere and hold it in place for uh, several seconds while you collect that data. Uh, but that's going to be all for now, so if you enjoyed watching this video, please do leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video.